All right, so we're gonna be reassembling my clutch assembly. I actually already have it put back together, but I'll take it apart so I could show you. I went ahead and cleaned this up and just re-greased it. There is a rubber seal that goes right there and there is one that goes here. So this is gonna slide back in here. You can see the, it's kind of tapered right there. So that's going to go like that and then you see the rubber seal here that's just going to tuck in there and as an extra added bonus I am going to be replacing this lever you can see right here where it's worn out here's the new one from Wolfsburg West so we're going to go ahead and replace that looks like it's the same and we're also going to replace this, which was actually missing from my car. They were using a, a screw and a bolt to hold it together, but I'll show you that in a minute. So let's get this back on the car. All right, you can see the clutch cable right there. This probably needs to be replaced pretty soon too. It's starting to get worn out, but um, we're going to go ahead and install the clutch lever and then we'll connect the clutch cable from the other side and we'll also put on the, the lever from we'll put the lever on from the other side but the uh what is this thing called the uh clutch pedal so this is gonna bolt on right here looks like the horn wiring is there in the way so we'll just put that on there and this is all um, undercoating that was sprayed on all right you can see right here the original paint and this stuff is undercoating that was sprayed on maybe by the factory maybe after after market who knows I mean it helps protect against rust Because if your paint, if a rock comes up and, and hits your paint and chips it, that can cause rusting, but it's kind of ugly. I don't really like it. I'm not a big fan of it, but uh, it is what it is. All right, so we'll tighten this down and then check the other side and we'll attach the lever and um, the cable, hopefully. <laughs> Show you the worst part of my floor pan. This is the uh, bottom of my bus. It's the worst part right here. <laughs> so I'll be repairing that. There's a couple little holes here, not major, but I mean, again, compared to what I see online. Oof. This area is actually pretty bad. I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea what happened here. So eventually I'm gonna to have to replace this inner balance because it is gone. This part is all right. This part is all right, but the inner part is the part that needs to be replaced. Jeez, looks like it's been resting for years. What the hell? Oh my god. I didn't realize it was so bad. Why is there so much rust in here? What the fuck is going on? So we're down here in the abyss and if you see it's like a little half circle there so we want our lever facing up like this all right all right so we've got the bolt on now we just gotta attach the lever 
the cable to the lever. So the way that's going to work is this is going to go through that hole and then it's going to clip. It's going to clip onto the cable. So you're going to want to put it in from this side, slide it in and then clip it down like that. All right, there it is. See, it slides through from this side and then it clips onto the cable itself. So we got the new lever, got the new clip. Everything's hunky-dory. The other thing I need to do is reattach the brake pedal. I'm sorry, the uh, clutch pedal here to this right here but you'll notice there's a big hole there so there's supposed to be a seal that goes over that so water and stuff doesn't go up up into your car and then settle down here and then create holes create rust so try to s eliminate this issue here you really want to make sure you have your your seals and um Unfortunately, the cover plate that goes underneath here, you can see it bolts right here. Someone took it off and, and never replaced it. It actually serves a really good purpose. It protects your wiring, your master cylinder, all of the mechanisms down here, prevents rust or helps prevent rust. But you can see where it's all rusty from where the, the under plate is missing. Um, you can see the undercoating ends right here and it continued on to where the cover plate was at. So I need to find one of those on the Samba. If you have one, if you're watching this, let me know. I need one for a 69. All right, we'll worry about that later. And we got this pedal that I just finished painting. This is the clutch pedal. There's a little VW logo. And I need to put these things on. So I decided to paint that since I already had it off. This goes this way according to the Bentley manual on page 34 so it's going to be like that and then this is going to go over here on top so that's going to help prevent water getting into your foot rest area and causing rust like the one that's there <laughs> so I want to try to prevent water from getting into the cab as much as possible I also got a new foot pedal from uh, Wolfsburg West, we got two of them. I already put the other one on, it looks pretty dandy. Right there. Wish they made them for the gas pedal. I think I'll just paint the gas pedal black though. Just like how I did the clutch pedal. So I gotta figure out how to get this tiny little hole over this thing here, the square part onto here. All right, I just got finished watching a video earlier and uh, I saw Mick Bergsma or something like that trying to put one of these on. Looked like he was about to die, <laughs> struggling to get this on. I'm going to spray him out with a little bit of lubricating oil and hopefully that helps get it over the hump. <laughs> Let me try something. All right, try this. This is a tool that's used for putting uh, upholstery and clips and stuff like that. Taking them off. Let's see if this works.
There it is. This will help a lot. There we go. Slide this up. So when you're actually, I think it goes down here like this. So when your uh, pedal is not depressed, when it's up, in that position, it'll be sealed with this. So, we'll go something like this. it through here so when your pedal is in the up position this thing will be sealed and then when you push it down that's what this is for so you stick this on there pull it this way and that'll keep it sealed so we'll put this piece on after I attach it down underneath all right, so there's not enough room down here for the camera to my camera stand. So I'm going to have to uh, to show you here real quick before I attach it. You notice these grooves on here. There's also grooves on the pedal lever. So you're going to match those up. You're going to match those up with each other. And there you go. Bolt it up. All right, so you can see when you pull the clutch pedal up, it's gonna be putting pressure on that rubber seal, keep uh, water out and grime. And then this is gonna go, you peel the sticker off, and then this is gonna go around your clutch pedal and it's gonna stick. There you go. Well, that's it for the clutch pedal assembly and this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.